In the previous video lecture, we studied denaturation of DNA. We understood that the melting temperature of the DNA is the temperature at which half of the DNA molecules are denatured. And it is found at the midpoint of the melting curve of DNA. Today we will study what are the main factors that affect this melting temperature and how. Melting temperature of DNA is affected by three main factors. These are Nucleotide content of the DNA molecule Length of the DNA molecule and ionic strength of the DNA solution. Let's understand these factors and their effect one by one. We know that, in DNA double helix, adenine always pair with thymine by two hydrogen bonds. And, guanine always pair with cytosine by three hydrogen bonds. Moreover, the base stacking interactions in case of guanine cytosine pair are more stable. Keeping these points in mind, look at these two hypothetical DNA molecules. The first DNA molecule is GC rich. In other words, major percentage of this DNA molecule is made up of guanine and cytosine pairs. And in the second DNA molecule, Guanine cytosine pairs are less. A DNA molecule which is GC rich will have higher melting temperature. This is because more heat energy is required to disrupt the stable base stacking interaction in this molecule. Thus, the melting temperature of DNA is influenced by its GC content. This can also be shown graphically. Here you can see two melting curves. As we said, higher the GC content of DNA higher will be the melting temperature. So, this curve is of the first DNA sequence which is GC rich, and, this one is of the second DNA sequence. Melting temperature of first DNA sequence is higher than the second DNA sequence. Second factor affecting the melting temperature of DNA is the length of the DNA molecule. A longer molecule of double-stranded DNA requires more energy to get disrupted as compared to a shorter molecule. This is because longer the molecule, greater the stabilizing forces between the two DNA strands. More heat energy is required to dissociate the strands and hence, higher will be the melting temperature. The third factor affecting melting temperature of DNA is the ionic strength of the DNA solution. We know that backbone of a DNA helix is made up of sugar and phosphate. And each phosphate group in a DNA strand carries a negative charge. Thus overall, each strand of DNA molecule carries a negative charge. The negative charges on both DNA strands will repel each other. Now question is if this is so, how these two strands of DNA stay together? In eukaryotic cells, proteins known as histones play important role in compaction of DNA within the nucleus of the cell. These proteins are rich in basic amino acids. Their positive charge help in neutralizing the negative charges on DNA molecule. In the laboratory, the DNA molecules present in a solution are stabilized by adding positively charged ions, such as sodium. Being positively charged, these ions bind to the sugar phosphate backbone and neutralize the negative charges on the phosphate groups. Thus, DNA in a solution becomes stable. Ionic strength here refers to the total ion concentration in the DNA solution. Suppose we have same DNA molecules in the given two DNA solutions. 
but the sodium chloride added in the first solution is 50 millimolar. And in the second solution, sodium chloride added is 100 millimolar. This means ionic strength in second solution is more than the first solution. In other words, more sodium ions are present in the second solution as compared to the first. So, in the second solution, where ionic strength is high, DNA molecule will be more stable. And we will require more heat energy to denature these DNA molecules. But in the first solution, since ionic strength is low, DNA molecules will be less stable as compared to the first. This is because negative charges which are not neutralized by sodium ions will repel each other. And this will contribute in the disruption of forces between the two strands. Therefore, less heat energy will be required to denature these DNA molecules. So, we can conclude that, higher the ionic strength of a DNA solution, more heat energy required, and, higher will be the melting temperature. Similarly, lower the ionic strength, lower will be the melting temperature.